that you you get, have an MP3 player or like a laptop or um, any kind of audio device, audio output device, and you plug this into the MP3 player, and through that you create a circuit. Now I'm going to play one of David's, um, David's sorry, Donald's tracks, um, and I'm going to play one that has a little bit of oomph to it or a little bit of power to it. And so let's go to. So this one is called Good Luck Evoker. And that's playing through this device right now. And you can't hear anything, right? So it's, it, it just seems like it's like a dud, right? It's just sitting there doing nothing. But what we can actually do is use an electromagnetic field tester to actually measure the field effect of the sound. So notice those numbers oscillating or moving. What you're actually seeing is the actual frequency modulation of his tracks affecting this electro field, electromagnetic field tester. So if I move this away, it goes down to its baseline. And when I move it back here, you can actually start seeing the electromagnetic flux. So that's, showing, that's giving you evidence that there's actually um, a frequency going through that device which is kind of neat, right? And that's the electromagnetic bubble that he was talking about. So you put this in your pocket, and basically what happens is it resonates. Your bioenergetic field gets that, or it understands what's going on because it feels the energy. And that basically gives you that bubble or shield that he was talking about, where you don't have to sit down and listen to the tracks for you know, three or four hours. You can just have it in your pocket, and away you go. So that's that's the beauty of this of this device. Um, Can you take it away again, just to yeah, see sure. the numbers? Um. So if I move it away here, yeah. And it's actually still affecting this, even though it's a little bit farther away. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the field effect that he was talking about. <coughs> so there's there's what's called a strong field, which is closer to this device, and then there's a subtle field which is farther away from the device. So the subtle field is very, very minute. It's very, very hard to, to kind of gauge that, but it still exists. You need really, really specialized equipment in order to be able to measure that. So, and actually it's, now the track is actually, that track actually, as it goes, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger and louder and louder and louder. And what you see is the oscillations actually increase. Like the, uh, the electromagnetic field increases quite significantly. So. That's what you're seeing. It's going up to about 120 milligauss. Now, if you're around um, about 2 milligauss, that's actually strong enough to cause cell damage. So you don't want anything that's too strong, right? You want something that's kind of gentle and will just give you the, the vibrations, but doesn't hurt the body. So that's basically what this device does. So once I stop the track, goes down to zero. That's the top line. So what you're saying there is that you're measuring the EMF right there, mm -hmm. that device. Right. So uh, is that in association with the, actually the frequencies as they go? So the uh, frequencies are ob os obviously oscillating too, right. and so they're climbing up. So you're you're hitting a lot of the full spectrum? You're hitting so a lot of full. This device here isn't capable of measuring the full spectrum of the frequencies because it's only set from um, zero to 300 hertz, right? But the, the tracks that Donald makes go from 0 to 20,000 hertz, or 20 kilohertz. And that's in the audible, the hearing range of the human ear. Okay, so it, it doesn't measure that. It, to get one of those, it cost, probably cost me a couple thousand dollars. So this one's just like a hundred dollar device. But it still measures 0 to 300 hertz, which is, I mean, still in the spectrum of the frequencies that you're, you see here. Okay. So yeah, and what you're seeing was the oscillation of those frequencies. So when, a, when the track goes up to a high level, well, it, that's where it goes, this peaks up, you know, to that, getting closer to that 300 hertz range. And when it peaks down, that's when you sort of see a drop. So you heard some of the track, go do 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 right? The high pitch sound is a higher hertz range, um, and the low kind of bassy sounds would be the lower hertz range on here. Does that yeah, answer your question? Yeah, because that's kind of like that, that uh, Tesla thing does too. Like, it's like, looks like two computers and they got 
a tower of crystal where right. you still go in between them. I don't know if you've ever seen that device, but it goes and it hits all the frequencies right. when you're sitting in, in, in between them, right? right. I guess that'll get rid of whatever, like it's full spectrum. So. Right, it's full spectrum. And this, this here is going to the full spe spectrum. It's just I can't measure it because I need specialized equipment that costs a lot of money at this point because we're still in development. This is just giving me evidence that, there's, that it's working. Um, but I mean, the evidence, and evidence that it, it works is still there because um, through subjectively from my clients or people who have used it and experienced it, um, they get the full range of what the tracker is meant to accomplish. Uh, the only thing about this device is it's not powerful enough to move energy, for instance. So if a person has like pain or a blockage, it's not powerful enough to do that. But my other device does, which is, um, I don't know, have, has everybody seen the device moving the balls and everything? Oh, you folks haven't? Okay, I'll, I'll just bring it over here. I, I think I have enough cord actually to do that. Or, or should we just move here? Yeah, why don't you just move here? <laughs> All right, so with this device here, um, what you had, what I had with, with that right there was just, it was just plugged into this device here. And, um, just a second here. 